Pepper says, it's warming up. It's time to get back in this basement and start decluttering it. And also remind the boys to put their toys away when they're done. The weather is finally starting to warm up since it is springtime here in the Northeast and the basement's getting a little warmer. So now it's time to get back into this basement and start decluttering it. Now, the boys have started coming back down here since it's not as freezing cold. And yeah, we probably have to work a little more on our putting things away skills. And that's something that we'll definitely do. And for today, I'm going to start digging back in this area. And there's a reason why I'm starting in the back of the basement. And that's because in two weeks, I would love to have a big yard sale because yard sale season is upon us and I actually like hosting them. But all of our yard sale stuff is in this back corner. So I want to start to dig out this front section so that when we're ready to have our yard sale, it's very easy for us to access it and take it upstairs. So before we dive in and start decluttering, I want to start off with really good intentions and really good energy because the theme for this year is progress and not perfection because I would be stuck in this perfection mindset that I have to have everything neat and tidy and clean today and I cannot ever go backwards and that's not really reality and the fact of the matter is I am recovering in hoarding disorder. This is gonna be a journey. This is going to take time and there might be some setbacks and that's okay because the setbacks is where we learn. So I want to move forward in a positive, lighter energy of we can do this. This is where we are today and we're going to continue moving forward. So when I get started in decluttering an overwhelmingly messy area, what I do is I look for the easiest thing to start with. And right now, that's simply just putting the disinfectant wipes back where they belong. That's how I start to get the momentum going. This right here, I got at Goodwill like five years ago for 50 cents, and I always wanted to DIY it into a remote control holder. And I'm thinking maybe this summer I'm going to do that, but for now, I'll put it in my crafting bin. And right next to it is our first official Tossy Tossy. And you know what? We have so many Christmas lights, it's almost obnoxious. And I think it's best to let these go too. And moving on to the bins, I see Tyler's project that he made a few years ago, looks like 2019, and somehow it got churned down in the basement, but that's okay. I, I have other projects that Tyler made that I absolutely love, so I think, I think we're gonna let this go too. And as I go through this bin, I'm gonna talk about how my ADHD has affected my hoarding behaviors, because most of the time my mind is spinning, and I drop and go a lot of things, not fully taking them back to their homes, and getting distracted very easily, and getting sidetracked. And since my mind is spinning, you can see that I lack focus. And that's why these simple little tasks of putting things away don't get completed. I'm also forgetful and I forget where I put things. And look what I found. One of my microphones that I have been looking for for a long time. So now, since I am in hyper focus, because that noise would happen when I record, I'm going to officially complete the task and put them back in their homes. Now, these homes are temporary because right now we're going through the mess and kind of funneling everything into their categories. So after we do all these big declutters, I do wanna do these bigger Kamari methods on these somewhat organized categories like this, crafts. And I have to admit, I am really looking forward to doing the Kamari method on my craft supplies. But for now, let's open up this area. Like these organizational bins, they're brand new. So I'll put that with all my organizational bins that I have. And this lid right here, well, I actually have an area where I'm keeping all these storage bin lids that I found. <laughs> and underneath of the lid, like these like mug kind of hooks, I, I really don't need them. I, I feel good letting them go because I already have command hooks. And same with, well, same with everything underneath of here. I don't really need it. And in my heart, I feel good letting it go. So all of this stuff, well, 
it's out of here. This board was a school project that Brandon did, but I'm only showing the backside because I don't want to show his full name and what school he goes to. But believe it or not, I, I feel comfortable letting it go. And behind that is my arch nemesis, a plastic bag of paper. I, I always avoided going through paper because it would make me anxious because every single piece of paper I would have to make a decision on, creating that decision-making fatigue. And since I had trouble making decisions, I just avoided it and threw it in the basement. But here we are taking care of it now. And I'm not sure what's in this blue bin underneath. So it is, oh, it's hubby's baseball cards from when he was a kid. So we're gonna let him make that decision of whether he wants to keep it or let it go. So for now, we'll put a label on it so we know exactly what's inside of it. And over here we have some plastic bags that we can easily take to be recycled. And I'm not sure exactly what's in this box, but I am so excited that I found this. This is brand new and I have a very special little girl's birthday this weekend, so guess what's getting added to her gift? And after looking through this box, it does look like it's car parts and that's gonna be hubby's department. So again, we're going to let him make those decisions and I'm just going to label the box right now so we know what's inside of it. So now let's move to the other side and widen this goat trail that I had created with all this stuff because there's a lot over here. Now I'm gonna go with this box because thank God it's pretty much empty and this is an easy decision for me to make. So bye-bye, that's tossy tossy. And underneath of that, I'm actually really glad that I'm finding this tissue paper, this basket that's brand new in perfect condition because in April and in May, there are so many birthdays and Mother's Day and confirmations and just, so many gifts that need to be given. So this is the perfect opportunity to use these items because they're brand new and it'll save me some money too. Now, I recognize that this is a tossy tossy, but there was a time that I had to need to hold on to it. Same with the plastic bags. We can let these go too. Now this box is the start of all the yard sale stuff. And I think maybe for another episode in the basement before the yard sale, we'll organize everything into one space. Now these birthday cards are still pretty sentimental to my heart and I'm not quite ready to let it go. And that's okay. We're letting go what we're emotionally ready to let go of. And this pen, I know Tyler has one of these that dried out, he'll love it. And the boys love this Simon game, so I'm really glad that I found it. But the rest of the stuff in the bin, honestly, I think we're just gonna throw it in the yard sale and see if anybody wants it. Because after the yard sale, I'll take a lot of this stuff to go get donated or put it on my Facebook Towns Giving page to give it away for free. Same with everything in this green bin underneath of it. There's some trash that we'll throw out, but all this honestly can go into the yard sale too. Now, with that said, I am gonna show the boys to make sure that there's nothing in here that they wanna keep. And I have good faith that they'll let go of a lot of it because they're better declutterers than I am. <laughs> and I'm curious to see what's in this Target bag. And what do you know? It's school supplies that I probably bought about two, three years ago. Oh my goodness. But this actually is a good thing because I already have a storage bin with school supplies in it. So I'll put it in there. That way, when it's back to school time, I will shop my hoarded stash first. Now this bin next to it, I knew the boys would want to keep this, but I'll let them make the decision to let it go, but I'll put it in their play area for now. But the books underneath of it, well, we can put them in the yard sale too. They have definitely outgrown these books. So we will add this to the yard sale pile too. And I wasn't sure what was in this random basket with a newspaper dated from 2015, okay. But I, I quickly realized that it was protecting pictures of hubby and me when we first started dating. So I can toss this little thing out, but the pictures, I'm going to have to create a bin to keep them all in. And underneath of that is more of my arch nemesis paper. And I just, I just don't want it anymore. I'll go through it off camera again, but all of this stuff, 
is a tossy tossy. I don't feel the need to hoard and hold on to all this paper anymore. And same with all these workbooks, even though Brandon loved these workbooks, I, I know it's time to let it go. And I think the only thing that I need to keep right now is his Bible from when he was little. That's the sentimental thing that I feel the need to hold on to. And yeah, it's, it's a little torn and I'm going to try and fix it. But this is definitely more of a sentimental thing that I want to keep holding on to. And with that last decision, I'm going to start cleaning up because my children's things take an emotional decision making toll on my heart but we're focusing on the progress that we've made because you know a few years ago, I wasn't able to let go of any of my children's things. And now Pepper is happy to show you everything that we're letting go of today. There's a lot of stuff. Some stuff is obvious trash and we're gonna recycle that as best as we can. And some of it is going to be added to the yard sale pile because People stop at yard sales that have a ton of stuff on their front lawn. And other things are going to be given away as gifts because we have so many fun occasions coming up very soon. And now there's no longer an itty bitty narrow goat trail to try and get to the back. We widen it up a bit, making it easier to get to the back yard sale stuff. And we're going to continue chopping away with this. This is progress, we're moving forward. We're decluttering what feels right in our heart. And my hope and my prayer is that this video has motivated you to declutter and clean something today because we're moving forward together and decluttering at a pace that feels comfortable in our hearts so that we are successful in our future.